Hey, hey everyone, good morning. Uh, just, just a quick tip video for you on how to easily make your own Nearpod lesson from your content that you may have hidden in a PowerPoint or a Google Slides presentation. So I was recently showing some teachers uh, how to do this and we ran into a bit of trouble. So I wanted to show you um, just some quick tip that might help with a workaround to save you some time and trouble. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my PowerPoint lesson that I have open here. Doesn't matter if it's open in Alpha 365 or in your desktop version, but I have all my slides here on the left. And what you're gonna to need to do to bring in your lesson into Nearpod, you're gonna to need to download these as JPEG files. Now just know once you do that and you bring them into Nearpod, they are just going to be pictures, so you're not gonna have any clickable links in there. You'll have to add those as separate slides uh, for web content. But let's go ahead. We're gonna go over to the file option at the top left and choose that. We're gonna go down and choose export. And when you go to export, we're looking for change file type on the left-hand side. My apologies to those of you who already know how to do this. And we're going to convert our PowerPoint right here on the right to JPEG. She could probably do PNG. I just prefer JPEG. It's more universal, uh, more widely accepted. So I'm going to choose that and click Save As. It's going to ask me where I want to save that to. And for easy access, I'm going to go ahead and just create a folder here on my desktop. And choose Save. It's going to ask me if I want just this one slide or all slides, so I'm going to choose all slides. So I'm going to get a folder full of separate images, as it's telling me right here on my desktop, named the water cycle. Okay, so now I'm ready to go and ready to pull that back into Nearpod. So here is my lesson that I have going on the water cycle inside Nearpod. I am in edit mode, so you can see the individual slides I already have here. I already added some web content of an activity, um, a video that I wanted to embed within the lesson, but I need to go ahead and add the slides, which are the individual slides from my PowerPoint. Now, this is the trouble I wanted to show you in case you've experienced this before. If I click add slide, and then I want to choose here and add slide. This presentation, I think, has uh, 15 to 20 slides. I'm going to first choose the layout. I just want the one image across the screen here. So you can do that here easily on the bottom layout. You have different options. So you can put different things there if you'd like for your students. I prefer just one. It's easier for them to view on the screen. You can even add text on the right-hand side here and change the font style. But for now, if I wanted to put my slide there, let me show you. I click Upload File. I'm gonna to go to my desktop. I'm gonna choose the new folder I have here. And here are all my slides. So I have 11 slides. And if I wanted to bring them all in, you can see here in Nearpod, it's only going to let me choose one of them. I cannot use Control, I cannot use Shift. It will only let me choose one slide at a time. So if I choose that and I say Open, it's bringing in the content from my one slide, which on the right-hand side here, I can adjust it. I can make it bigger or smaller so that it fits. I can even go to the bottom here in the bottom left and choose background. I can choose a color. Maybe something light like this and choose save. I can go over here on the right and I can adjust it. So that way it's just not empty space and I can click save. Now that's wonderful and I've been able to, as you can see here, at the bottom, it's saving my slide, the file is processing, and I can put this wherever I want just by dragging and dropping that slide. But if I have a PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides template with lots of content, that's gonna take me all day. So um, same thing, let me show you. If I do this and I choose Slideshow, what's going to happen is it will let me choose, I'm gonna choose Upload, and I'm in the right folder. It will let me choose multiple images. Let me show you this. I'm going to say open. It's going to go ahead and import all of those slides. But you're going to see here on the bottom, it's, it pulled them in as a slideshow. And the problem with that is although all of my pieces are here, 
I am not able to add the interactive features in between these individual slides. So no videos, no quiz questions, no collaborate board, no time to climb, nothing in between the different pieces of the content I'm trying to deliver. And so I feel like that makes Nearpod a little less functional and a little less interactive for my students. I want to keep them engaged. That's one reason I'm using Nearpod as opposed to maybe a PowerPoint. So instead of doing this, let me show you a quick workaround. Although you had to listen to me for 10 minutes to get there. So anyway, we started here. And what's happening is typically we know that we can choose here and add our content by clicking add slide. If you didn't know, if you wanted to choose something and add it in between slides, you can actually click the crack between the two to get this pop-up menu and add the slide this way as well. Or you can slide all the way down and hidden in the background is this right here, upload files. So by choosing upload files and then choosing the upload button, I can go in and I can choose any and all slides in my presentation, click open, and it's going to ask me, do I want to put them in that slideshow mode? Not at all. I want individual slides so that way I can embed all of those interactive features between the content that I've created from my PowerPoint lesson. When it's ready, you can see all of my slides are down here at the bottom. I can click on this particular one. I'm going to delete the original slideshow I embedded. And now I'm able to not only move these around by dragging and dropping, I can take this web content, I can pull it in between the individual slides and slip in some questions and some videos wherever I might need within my embedded content that I already had created from my PowerPoint. So it's as simple as that. Easy peasy. Hope you have a great day. Hope this helps.